Alright, welcome back to Murder Hobo Mitvolk, and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. Yeah. So I think today we are just going to finish this little dungeon crawl, and be a quick, easy episode. Alright, combat begins. I think we're going to... Uh... I thought space was the shortcut for unpausing. Why is it not working? Um, yeah, pause, space. Um, weird. There, uh, is there a place where it says pause? Um, yeah, pause, space. space not working. That's very strange. Okay, whatever. Um, so Burr, moving in. Uh, who is this Amoria? Um, yeah. Yeah, I guess some sneak attacks going. See if blinding strike will work, even though it's ghosty. Um, you, you start shooting with your bow. You need to. Oh wait, you can use your arcane assault like that, and then fiery sword. Right. Mm -hmm. And easy peasy. Yeah, I don't think that they designed this with a party of four in mind. I think they expected you to do this with just the one guy. Got it. But it's whatever. Alright, so there's the big door into the big room, or the smaller door into the what seems to be smaller room. So Hey there. Sneaky sneak. Sure. Okay, we can actually see through the door. How may I help? Can we throw abilities through the door? Indeed. No, he can't see it. Okay. Right, big guy. He's the one with the bow. Alright, so we want our rogue yeah. to kind of hang back. Wait, what? What just happened? I think combat just started through the door. Uh, Alright. Hey so, game appears to be being weird. That's fine. Alright. We will move forward and fiery sword. And begin shooting that one. Or no. No. Uh, cast magics. Right there. Begin shooting that one. And. That's actually really annoying. Um, okay. Apparently they cannot get through there. Noted. Alright. We have a chest. We have a locked chest. And I think from last time we learned traps hurt. 
So I forget. Is there... Um... Easy does it. Track detected. Aha. Yes. Sneaky sneak mode. Consider it done. There. What did I tell you? All right. We got ourselves a fine S doc, as well as ring of deflection, scroll of Tanglefoot, and some gemstone. Beautiful. Hey. Weird. My keyboard shortcuts are not working at all. Huh. Okay. Alt-Tab works. So it's not my keyboard, it's just the game, for whatever reason, is not receiving keyboard inputs. Oh wait, now it is. Okay. <laughs> All right, whatever. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, so we have a fine S stock. What does this do to our accuracy? Ah, I can't have. Okay. So we can't use the S-Dock. Wait, two-handed? Two-handed, you say? You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Because this is going to increase damage from 12 to 18 to 19 to 28. Which means our Fire Sword is going to do even more damage. And uh, we haven't really been taking any damage with, uh, with our Frontliner. She has been quite resilient. And that lets us put... The Fine Sword... Offhand? So we lose one accuracy. We gain a good bit of damage, but the speed is, I think, the thing that makes the dagger especially good. Yeah, so we lose some speed, which means, I think, less sneak attack damage. You know what? Sword and board. We can swap to the medium shield, still have good damage. Yeah. Because I really, I, I like the bonus crit damage on the battle axe. So I'm going to keep that going. Ring of deflection. Ring of protection. Ring of deflection. Uh, gloves of Dexterity, Cloak of Protection, Ring of Deflection. Okay, cool. Sounds good. And then scroll, we can just give to our mage. Just so he has something in case he runs out of spells. Oh! When we disarmed the trap, we actually... Got it. This trap, once triggered, hurls a large spherical plume of flame towards a designated point where it bursts with explosive force. The distance it must travel sometimes permits the especially fleet-footed to avoid harm, but this is not a common problem. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. So we can put down a fireball trap at some point. That's cool. All right, continuing no with our problem. dungeon adventure. Yeah, I think. Hey. Open the door, get into a fight. I think he can start shooting from there. Yeah. 
Yes. No, he can't. Okay. Now he can. But I think I'd rather drop this like so. Alright. Booyah. Easy peasy. Sure. Okay. So we are in the big room. There's a door off to this side. If I were a DM, I would put a bunch of enemies in front of the big door. So I think we're just going to hang back and let them come to us. Um, I really wish the ranged guys would automatically start shooting. Hi. Alright, and fire sword. And stabby stab, and burr. Hey. How much, how much did that do? Um, Lillian, Flames of Devotion. What? Oh, okay. 10.2 plus 5.6 burn plus 1.3 corrode. So we rolled low. Oh, okay. It was a graze. It was a graze, and then they also had damage reduction. Okay, that's why it was only... It was still 10 base damage as a graze and through their damage reduction. Cool. Alright, continuing no problem. on. Yep, as I figured. There's another guy. Hi. Eh? And flamey sword, and he's dead. Easy peasy. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Okay, so we have another door. Alright, so we got a door there. We got a hallway here. With more doors. Oh boy. And then stairs to water that we can't go through. Okay. So we have five doors to choose from. Oh boy. Um. Okay, so this door appears to go to some kind of hallway. This door appears to go to a room that the water goes by. If I had to guess, I'd say this room probably has something to do with the water, since it's right there. So, let's... Yeah, let's do that first. Proce proceed very cautiously, very slowly, and very intelligently. Alright, so we are going to open the door with Burr. Can can Burr can Burr not open doors? Alright, that makes sense. Eh? Hmm. I see no enemies. There are enemies. How may I help? Out of range. I mean, I guess I just shoot them. Oh, actually, that's out of range too. Well mm -hmm. then. All right, let's do that then. Oh, there's four of them. Okay. <laughs> well then. Fiery sword. Bird, distract him. Try to get in and help against that one. Start shooting the one Burr is fighting. Yeah. You are going to fall back a moment, and then... Oh, that hits my allies, too. Okay. You're going to get in there, then. 
and you're going to hit those two with that. What are you doing? Uh, you are going to fiery sword that hey one. There. All right, our rogue is getting messed up because they were ignoring. They were ignoring the burr, and they were focusing our rogue. Spirit residue. Okay. Also, there's a lot of stuff in our inventory. Let's uh, let's drop these normal weapons into our stash. And simple clothing. Don't care. Uh, alright. Bear hide. Okay. Alright. Eh? So, I think we're going to... Hey there. Let the rogue handle... Isn't this something? Oh, yeah. Let the rogue handle all the chests. Here goes nothing. Alright. Cool. You have gained an item, Fireball Trap. Alright. Give me a real challenge. Alright, so the traps are disarmed. Hmm. Those look like coffins. So maybe we should cautiously open them. Just in case and enemies pop out. Maybe I've been playing too much Diablo 2. <laughs> uh of will plus nine. I think we are going to... You know what? He's fine with that. They seem to be focusing our rogue a lot. So I think I'm actually going to put the heavy armor onto our rogue. Damage reduction 10, 13, 8. Versus 7, 9, 5, 9. So, we increase our Corrode Resistance by one. And we increase every other resistance by at least one. Yeah. That's pretty good. Obviously it's going to reduce her DPS since the recovery speed is lower, but at this point she gets hit so much. I think, uh, I think her not dying is the priority here. And then we have the Of Will. Uh, we're going to give that to one of our backliners. Probably our mage. There we go. Uh, okay. So I was, I think, right. I think this phantom just spawned from that chest. And our mage needs to fall back. Our hunter needs to fall back. Burr needs to get in there. Hmm. And then... Yes. Alright. Everyone should be able to attack him now. Oh, wow. Okay, so she's stunned. And she's at half health. Which means she can't second wind yet. Because she's stunned. Healer sounds pretty good right about now. And I'm assuming there's going to be a boss fight at some point. Oh, is it dead? It's dead. Yeah. So yeah, sarcophaguses, man. But I was wrong, there is nothing to do with the water in here. It's just sure. a room off to the side that has some loot in it and an encounter. Can yeah. I do... No, I cannot do second wind outside of combat. Oh, that's her health that's at 108. Which is fine. It's completely fine. Eh? She's, she's not at risk of dying yet. Because I think the difficulty setting I have it set at, even if they drop in combat, like they have to, they have to actually get to zero health before they permanently die. 
Do we do this one next, or do we go down here? Because I'm curious about this water. So I think we're going to ignore what looks to be the bigger side of the dungeon. And I think we're going to handle this little room that has the water. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Anything? Yes. Alright. So, wait. Okay. You start shooting him. Burr, intercept him. You intercept him. You advance. And you advance. Yeah. Alright. Burr's about to intercept right there. Yeah. Wait. How did he get behind me? Weird. I don't know how he got behind me. Can those guys teleport? Whatever. Um, okay. So here's a valve. That would appear to reduce the water level. Do we mess with this first or do we go check the other rooms? I think... We check the other rooms first. Clear the clear the dungeon before we change anything. Yeah, right. why not? Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there a trap? Sure. Does not appear to be a trap. Lock picks required one. Party lock picks one. Do you want to pick the lock? Well, now I'm really curious. Give me a real challenge. Lockpick failed. Hmm. Lockpick. Lockpicked. Five difficulty one. Lockpick failed. I don't understand what just happened. No Is that problem. the first locked door we've come across? There is a shadow. Out of range, out of range. Hmm. I really need some kind of like super long range option to initiate combat with. So I think bow. Uh I don't know where he's gonna get intercepted, so go ahead and take one shot with your bow, then I'll start casting. And then you kinda go off to the flank. Alright. Fiery Sword. Casting the spell. And... Spook. Spooky's gone. Okay. So there's stairs down. Does this go to another level? Or does this just go a different way through this door down here? Uh, lesser black ooze. Okay, they spit. So I'm going to go and fiery sword this one. Burr, go do your thing. Uh, you, for now, just shoot him once. You start shooting him. You get in yeah. position. Sure. There's a lot of them, actually. Oh dear. Okay. You're gonna use magic on those two. Okay, Burr went down. That's not good. Show them how it's... Show them. Let's go. Yeah, again, I really wish the range people would just auto-target people that are in range. You okay there, Burr? I wonder what happens if Burr dies. Can he die? Or is he just limited to 
the endurance per battle, and since he's a class feature of Behemoth, he never dies. I don't know. Hmm. I do not know. But we've got three Ooze Plasmas here. And over here we've got another Spirit Residue and some more Ooze Plaza. The still dark waters are reflective as black glass. Okay. Sure. Okay, so this appears to be going back around. Or maybe that's just another side room. I don't know. I really don't know. Scolder Welp, okay, I'm not. Oh! Ho ho ho! Scolder King! Well then, uh, yeah, we need some fiery sword action right here. Uh, yeah, you go ahead and. Show them how it's done! Okay, um. Actually, you go help with the Scolder King. You go help with the Scolder King. You. don't have melee weapons. You don't have melee weapons, so I think we're going to... I think we're going to... Sunless Grasp this dude. Hey there. Lava will be on the okay. Second wind. Second wind. Second wind. Oh dear. I haven't saved lately. Um can can you do that again? Okay, this is this is bad. <laughs> well then. Oof. <sighs> hmm. Okay, now we know. I, I need to remember to save more often. So these guys are not a real threat. So we can just run through this speedy like. Um, fire sword. Well, I say they're not a threat, and then they proceed to beat on us a little bit. Okay. All right. And then let the rogue mm -hmm. handle it. Let the rogue handle it. All right. Take all the things. This calls for a subtle touch. Unlock. Give me a real challenge. Take all the things. Hmm. Uh, you can stop sneaking now. No problem. In position. Uh, yeah. You are going to take the ring of deflection and the sword and then put that on your secondary. Um, put all those in there. Sorry for this. I, I really should like save before every door. <laughs> just just do a quick save. Hmm. I was a fool for my overconfidence. Oh, it's just a Scalder Whelp. No big deal. Uh, yeah, just go ahead and start start beating on him. Okay. Somehow teleported again. And they are actually beating on my mage quite handedly. Let's go! Or just move to the side. Yeah. Alright. 
Okay. <laughs> All right. It's fine. I'm just trying to run through this real quick. Eh? Okay. All right. Hmm. Open the door. Sure. Get in the room. Engage. Fire sword. Burr. Shoot. Um, and you are going to get right here. And fire, like so. You are going to fire sword this one. Alright, so yeah, they do teleport around. And our mage is once more taking a beating. Okay. I think we're gonna camp before we fight the Scalder King. Yeah. All right. Hey there. Once again, rogue, sneaky, sneak. Because I remember there's traps day. on both. Disarm trap. And disarm trap. All right. And. Aha. And go fire sword. And he's already dead. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Now we put the heavy armor There, put the medium armor back in the stash. Uh, give the ring of will to our mage. Scroll of Tanglefoot to our mage. And I think that's that. And that's both of those. Okay. So there's that taken care of. I think there was. One more over here? Yeah. Alright. Easy peasy. Check and make sure there's not another I forgot about. Just the water. Alright. Open the door. Get in the room. Okay, and fiery sword. And fiery sword. Actually, that one's almost dead. Alright. Hmm. We saw the valve. We're not going to do that yet. Yeah, this calls for a subtle touch. Yes. There. What did I tell? Lock picked. Hmm. So we're gonna have the fight with the oozes. Oh no, the fight with the shadow first. Um. Right. So they do teleport. Got it. Hmm. And our mage is actually getting roughed up pretty severely. Sure. Oh, yeah. Loot. Gotta get the loot. Hmm. All right. All right. So I think once again the play is for our. Uh, for Lillian to go to that flank, and everyone else to go yeah. to this flank. And go ahead and do that again. And 
deal with this one. Okay, so... Out of curiosity, does this count as flanking? Or do I have to actually be on the other side of him? That's something I don't know, actually. No, it does not appear that she's sneak attacking. So she does need to be on the other side of them. Got it. Okay. So we take all that. Back up a bit. Wait. We're missing one. Burr, get over here. Come on. Come on. Hmm. There you go. Alright, shut the door. Hmm. And camp. I mean, yeah, damage reduction, I think, is uh, it's definitely... Ooh, I don't know which one they are. Are they wilder? Are they beast? That would actually be really good. Ah, if only I knew. I mean, I could guess. 50-50 chance. They're definitely either Beast or Wilder, right? I'm gonna go Wilder. Damage reduction and damage reduction. Rest. All right. All healed up. Everyone's good to go. No problem. I think I'm also going to dump some consumables under this because that thing is scary. Ooh, I can also use those traps. All right. So, save game. Temp. I want to be right like that. With our backliners against the wall. Yeah? Uh, how do I use them? See if I can sneakily put it right there. And put another one right there. Wait, what? No, put it put it back put it back down. Ah, you can only have one trap down at a time. Okay. Got it. And I think... I think I'm actually going to... This is an awkward little corner here. But I think I'm going to hold my rogue off to the side stealth to come in behind once they see me. Alright, um... Do I have any buffs? No, 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 no. So, definitely going to do that as soon as combat starts. Uh, also, yes. You use weapon set 2. We need more defense on this one. And... No, not crafting. Uh, food? 
Or is this just ingredients? This this is food. Okay. So don't we have some like pies or something? Or is this just ingredients? This looks like just ingredients. Okay. We're gonna drink some beer. Okay, these are like drugs. I, I did. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. That's, that's, yeah. Give that there. Actually give that there. Okay. Do these stack? I wonder. It's just plus five max insurance. Now, there's, so there's some kind of recipes or whatever. So like, I think I can actually use these ingredients to make better. Didn't I get pie? I could have sworn I had a pie, a meat pie. Weird. Hmm. All right, so, uh, So I'm actually going to drink some beer. Yes. Got it. Eat some veggies and eat some meat. So my endurance is now 82. Lure them in. Beautiful. No, 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 no. Oof. Ow. I was, I was, yeah. Okay. Burr. Stunned. Uh, that will hit, like, all of my allies. You're gonna hit the Scholar King with that. You're going to hit the Scholar King with that. Yeah. And... Okay, she's stunned. He's stunned. He is currently casting that spell. And Lillian is down. Dude, why aren't you why aren't you casting the spell? Cast the spell. Okay, Burr is down. I don't think I can win this. Uh. I don't think I can win this. If it wasn't for the stuns and the knockdowns... Okay. 
so the fact that they were behind a locked door makes me feel like this is eh. optional. So can I get another 1,300 experience from the rest of the dungeon, then come back and do this with a level up? I think that's the play. Got it. That's a door wall. A wall door. That's a switch. Wait, is this the is this the corpses we were looking for? So the mission objective was behind the locked door. Huh. Okay. The light rises from the bones as you approach. You have a moment to register the faintest image of a standing figure. Features a blur of mist or smoke before the world tilts. It is as if you have stepped sideways and into a new life. You are racing down a flight of stairs, following a weaving circle of torchlight. Your own panting breaths are loud in your ears. Panic in your robes like foul your steps, and you nearly stumble before a hand reaches out to grip your arm and steady you, a fellow acolyte, who smiles encouragement as you reach the bottom. You run around and pass the shallow reflection pool that marks the lowest point of the temple, following the dark shapes of the older priests as they lead the way towards the narrow hall that leads to the vault. You pass one of the torchbearers as you go. The harsh illumination of the flames reveals a familiar face. For a moment, your awareness spans time and identity, and you think Wharton has joined you, here at the bottom of the temple. In the memory, he glances at you for a moment and then looks past at someone else. I'll come back once they're gone, he says. Or he's saying. You're being pressed along by the crowd, and his words are growing faint. Just keep quiet. We can't take any chances. Inside the vault, golden relics gleam like welcoming stars. The memory twists, jarring you loose from one moment and plunging you into another like a flung doll. There is only darkness around you now. You think yourself blinded until the knowledge settles, settles onto you like a cloak. The candles have all burnt away. You know now, too, with sickening certainty, that nobody is coming. There is a crackling noise somewhere to your left, a wet slurping gurgle and a ragged sob. You cannot see, and so you cannot know which brother or sister has fallen, and which digs after what room water a body may provide. You hear, in the faint murmuring to your right, the familiar cadence of prayer, but you no longer recognize the words. You are too tired to do harm. The thirst is like fire within you. Your tongue is thick in your throat, and every breath is a struggle that leeches strength from you. There is a light, they said, at the end of every bout of darkness, but this one does not end. The spirit releases you, and you come back to yourself in pieces. Your vision clears, and the vault around you is revealed once more, cast in muted hues by the sickly illumination of the soul still drifting like fading fog. Fear wafts off the spirit in waves, fraying at your own emotions. Um... So, is that somebody, it, it said a specific person's name. I thought that was just in the memory, but I guess it's somebody we've met. Is that the guy that said we need to come retrieve the bodies? I'm kind of tempted to say nothing because I'm not sure what's going on. Spirit seems to withdraw into itself. You sense less of its fear and confusion as it recedes, but the soul lingers still. Alright, gather the remains. Oh, 
Oh, it's just automatic. Oh, okay, no, it's just... It just removed them from, from the floor. Okay. Some of the gold leaf on these relics has chipped away to reveal the wood beneath. There are tooth marks upon one of the bowls. Okay. Hey there. Any traps? There's something you don't see every day. Huh? I see. So... Also, Spirit Shield might come in very handy. Plus three damage reduction. But yeah, um... Was I aware that was there before I snuck? Was was the stealth the reason why I'm able? I mean, this is literally a vault, so I don't. This calls for a subtle there. touch. What did I tell you? Gon's share. Um, fast. 10 to 15 crush damage, 30% of grazes converted to hits, 20% of damage restored as endurance. What? What? 20% of damage restored as endurance. Okay. That will help. That will absolutely help. And actually, bonus crit damage. So, 50% bonus crit damage. Versus 12 to 18. Yeah, I think the bonus crit damage is just better. Um, but let's go ahead and give him a secondary weapon and shield. And let's give him a secondary weapon and shield. Because those scolders apparently really like running past my front line. Alright. So we now have on our defensive set, we now have lifesteal. Which I think actually means less deflection is fine. Because we'll heal back as we... As we strike them. Hmm. Yeah? Alright. Some more Audra. Has it explained what the Audra is or used for? It's the fancy rock around this parts, yeah. right? Do I try this again or do I try to get another ah, oh, that's gonna be another like 1100 experience. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. I think I'll try it one more time. And honestly, eating this stuff didn't seem to help, so. Hey there. Uh, the traps did. The the trap absolutely did. Sure. I wonder if I can place it further out. Okay, run. Run, run, run. 
All right, uh, all of you. Okay, you start that to him. You immediately that to him. You immediately attack him. You do that to him. And you get if you can get over there. Wait, so the little guys can stun too? Burr's already down. Yeah. Oh, but she's getting... She's getting the flanking bonus. No, I don't want you all to move. I want you to attack. You... Do that. Yeah. Beautiful. Second wind if you can. How may I help? Did it. Eh? Yeah, that, that flail helped a lot. Also, her surviving with, like, two hit points was quite helpful. Alright. Sure. So, what do we get out of all that? Go ahead and save. Just in case we run into something else that, you know, wrecks us. That way we don't have to fight that again. Um, really? That's it? Hey there. We don't like... You'll never know I'm here. We don't get stuff for, uh, killing the crazy boss monster? Eh? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Also, I forgot to look and see if they were wilder or beast. Whatever. I'm sure that's something I will learn as I continue to play. So we still have two doors, and we still have the the water thing. And I'm definitely gonna check those stairs at some point before I leave. Yeah. Eh? Alright. Let's go! Oh! Betrayed. That's a phantom versus shadows. So you are going to move off to intercept this. You eh? are going to. Oops, not. Sure. And fiery sword. Sixty-two? And apparently my fiery sword missed. It's fine. Only Burr went down. No problem. See, I think hmm. Burr is just immune and vulnerable. Uh, it is with, not within our natures to forgive those who seek redemption, seek a long and winding path. A road which takes us down into the very hollows of our soul and asks us to reflect upon the fractured aspects of ourselves. So is this also just a room of nothing? Hmm. Yeah? Figured yeah. a speaking monster would... Oh well. At least we got experience for killing the things. And what do we have here? Aha. 
So yes. It is, if I stealth around, I can find additional things. Noted. Hmm. I was just doing that to check for traps, uh, originally, but... Okay. So one more door, and then the valve, and then the stairs, and see what we can see. Eh? Yeah. Alright. Don't really care. Uh, okay. I forgot they can teleport. My bad. So... That's Burr. Fire sword this dude. Oh yeah, they do not like my rogue. <laughs> they do not like my rogue. Our number is Poor rogue. Alright, um... Really? Alright. Let's see how that goes. Oh, Beautiful. Let's go. <laughs> so I feel like melee rogue is not ideal. Eh? Even with heavy armor, she goes down so fast. Uh, crumpled note. This letter is fairly intact, though the parchment itself has been crumpled. Fast post great healing. The temple baths boast great healing properties. Okay. Also, I should totally mm -hmm. have stealthed around to make sure that wasn't trapped. Do, do, do. Is there anything else in this room? No, there is not. Okie dokie. Yeah. So, let's go check out this valve now. Ah, uh, is it trapped? My eyes are peeled. Ah, oh, I didn't mean for yeah? everyone to stealth, just for you. Sure. No, no trap. Eh? Alright, so that uncovers that. So let's see what's down here. Oozes. Alright. Fiery sword, that one. Again, fiery sword. So yeah, now she can sneak attack when she's across an enemy. Noted. No problem. Um. Gleaming silver key. That probably goes to the door up there, so I wouldn't have had to waste the lockpick. Oh. Okay. I see. I see. Okay. Got it. Well then, that's uh that's it for this dungeon crawl. Let's uh Yeah, the person in that vision that it said the name of is probably the guy who asked us to come down here and retrieve the uh corpses. So let's see what he has to say. Oh, 
Okay. And we find ourselves behind a wall. As you step over the circle of candles, you hear a rattling clunk from the wall nearby. A door slides open with the grinding rasp of stone. And then we can interact with the candles over there. Yeah? Is there anything trapped? Is there anything... The candles flicker gently as you approach. There's a gap above the altar lined with broken glass where a mirror may once have set into the wall. The altar itself seems untouched. Layers of dust have fallen upon the stone and dried wax. You reach out to pinch one of the burning wicks. Smoke rises in a thin trail from the candle. Nothing else appears to happen. And they'll never know I'm here. Um... Hmm... Nothing, really? Hmm. So we fought a completely optional boss to get to a secret chamber where apparently knowing something about Eothus would have let us do something. I shall be discreet. So who's Eothus? Do we have any idea who Eothus is? Okay, whatever. I probably just missed out on a secret of some kind, but... Whatever. Dungeon complete. Let's talk to this dude. Wharton, yeah. Good day to you. Wharton smiles nervously as you approach. I think I've sorted the worst of it. I'm hurting a little less. He hesitates. You were down there a while. Did you find anything? His eyes dark constantly about the ruins. Something you're nervous about? No, of course not. Just never good to linger around these places, that's all. Warden gives you a searching look. Did you find anything? <sighs> you lied to me. What? Warden grins uncertainly. I was clear about everything. The risk involved. Is that what you mean? I said there'd be spiders in, and I'll pay you, of course, for the trouble. Uh, that's aggressive. That's aggressive. <laughs> I will crack your head in two if you lie to me. Orton scrabbles fruitlessly at your arms, his eyes wide with shock. Wait, I don't know what you... He inhales sharply, expression twisting. Well, maybe I knew where you'd find the bodies, is that it? I'm sorry. Uh... Resolve 13, are you going to be a coward forever? Yeah. Warden flinches, expression twisting with grief and shame. Hey, call me what you like, but it's not like you're thinking. I didn't force him into that room. I didn't set out to... You don't understand. I tried to help. I did. Every day, every single day, I went to that temple and I warned them, I told them they were playing with fire and Redrick wouldn't be patient forever. And every time they'd shrug it off, like I didn't know what I was talking about. Like it was costing me, I'm coming in to try to help them. I could have been arrested right alongside them. What happened? Redrick sent word he was going to have them arrested, dragged them out, locked them up. They wouldn't listen. The Redrick said they'd be reborn if anything should happen and she wasn't afraid. I convinced them to hide at least. They have that vault full of old relics, gold and such, I thought. I thought they could hide in there. And once the guards left, they'd have something to sell for passage out of the Jarwood. Back to Aider. When I told the men that the priests had already gone, they ordered the temple sealed. I couldn't get in again. Wharton shakes his head. There's nothing I could do. Uh... So 
So I'm assuming whenever they were arrested, they would have been executed. Why'd you send me down there? Because if Lord Redrick meant to have the temple cleared, they would have found the bones eventually. They'd know I lied to them when I said the priest left, and I'd hang. Wharton's shoulders sagged. I don't know if Redrick would have killed them. Maybe they'd be languishing in cells now. Maybe they'd be off somewhere in the Empire, and I'd have a night's peace. I told you the way of it, Wharton says, his voice rough. I told you what happened. Guess it's your turn now to make a decision. I mean, it's very aggressive. <laughs> very aggressive to just immediately attack him in retribution for their death. I mean, is that literally what I'm going to do this entire playthrough? Go full murder hobo and just kill everyone in vengeance? That's what I did with the guy who left his friend to die. Although... This is a little different. That dude actually, like, cut a tendon and, like, baited the guy into death. This, he just hid and cowered instead of going and rescuing them, so. Is that the same? Is that worthy of the same punishment? I'm curious what the it's not too late to make amends does. Or if I lose the option to attack him. Let's find out. It's not too late to make amends. Wharton lets out the breath he was holding. I'm not sure that's true. It's been years now. What am I supposed to do? Uh bury their bones, try to lead a better life than you have so far, or I'm not great at the redemption business personally. I mean, I'm pretty good at the redemption business as long as redemption involves them being redeemed at my blade. But, uh, yeah. Warden looks at the remains. He runs a hand through his hair, letting out another ragged breath. I suppose I'll have to figure it out. I can bury them at least, like I said I'd do. Thank you, truly, for what you've done. Give me a second chance. Put it to good use. So I gained 1100 experience. And that's it. He didn't pay me? I wasn't doing that out of charity. Well, at least I didn't get a uh, benevolent or diplomatic reputation, so... At least there's that. Alright, whatever. Let's see if anything happens when we exit, and then I'll call it an episode. And there does not appear to be any immediate repercussions for going into the temple. So, yeah, we're going to call it there. That has been your episode of Murder Hobo Mitvoke for the week. I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, have a good one.